hold out your hand. Now what if I was to tell you that every minute of every day, no matter where you are, there are a few particles coming from outer space and passing through your hand. Would you believe me? You can't see them, you can't touch them, you can't taste them, but these particles called muons are there and I'm going to prove it to you. With one of these, we're going to be able to see the muons and it's called a cloud chamber because every time a muon passes through it, you can see a tiny little white streak of cloud. You might think that it's quite a complicated device, but really it's pretty simple and I'm going to show you how you can make one for yourself. To make your cloud chamber, you need a clear plastic cup, some plasticine, a piece of black metal, you could use a non-stick baking tray, some thick felt, a light, some pure alcohol, we use propanol because we actually find it works quite well, and some frozen carbon dioxide or dry ice, which you could ask to get from your fishmonger or butcher or ice cream parlour, or even maybe your local university chemistry department. So the first thing we need to do is cut out a piece of felt that will fit in the bottom of the cup. That might be a bit big. I don't know, that's just about right. Right, so put the felt in the bottom of the cup. So next we need to roll out two pieces of plasticine, one long one and one short one. The long one will go around the top rim of the cup and the bottom one will go around to hold the felt in the bottom. So I'll take the short one and put it inside the cup and I'm going to use this to actually hold the felt in place. All right, so that's not coming out. The longer piece I'm going to put around the outside of the cup. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Right, so that's our chamber just about ready. Now we need to soak the felt in some alcohol and again we're using propanol. Try and make sure it's really well saturated, but not dripping. Okay, the next thing I need to do is to actually prepare the cold bed that this is going to sit on. So I'm going to take some dry ice, and for that I'm going to put on some safety gear. And the way I'm going to do it is to actually fill this little thing with some dry ice. There we go, it's probably about enough. And then just to make sure that all stays in there. So that's the cold bed that we're going to put the cloud chamber on top of. All you need to do now is put the cloud chamber on and just press it down to create a bit of a seal using the plasticine that you've put on there. So now all we need to do is turn off the lights, turn on the lamp and try and point it from the side and then just watch closely. Oh, there's one. The way the cloud chamber works is that it's much warmer at the top here than it is at the bottom. Now, the felt has the alcohol in it at the top and because it's warm, the alcohol forms a vapour which falls down to the bottom. Now where it's cold, the alcohol wants to condense and form droplets, but there's nothing for it to condense onto. But when a muon passes through the chamber, the alcohol is attracted to the charged particle, the muon, and then it forms little droplets that are the clouds that we see in the cloud chamber. Now this is really easy to see if we look at it on a thermal camera. You'll see the base here is really cold, my hand's quite warm, and the top is also warm and that sets up the temperature difference that allows the cloud chamber to work. So this is another cloud chamber that we made out of a plastic fish tank and a pizza baking tray and you can see that the felt in this case is around the top and the dry ice is underneath the pizza tray but be aware when you make them bigger it does take a bit longer before you can see the muons passing through. I hope I've convinced you that muons really do exist and that we can see them and if you'd like to see it for yourself well why not build your own cloud chamber?